Hi friends, what's this window? This is a Kinter application where the user can enter the inputs. It's a student inputs, whatever we frequently use as a example table. So this particular inputs, whatever we give. So say I'm just entering some name, then class. I, it's a combo box, so I can select one from one of the option and I can enter my own also. Then gender, I can, it's a red set of radio buttons. So one I can select or I can change my selection also. So whatever I have selected. Now I will enter some mark also, 45. Now let's say I want to upload an image. So picture of the student. So I will just go here. Here some PNG files are there. This is a PNG file which will go to our database. Now once I add that, say add record, you can see here ID equal to two, the student, uh, uh, that the data has gone to the table and it has returned me the unique ID of that. I can use it as a roll number or whatever the admission number or whatever way I want. This data along with the image, image is going to a bulb co column or binary large object. This time we are using MySQL database and you can use the SQLite also. So we'll learn this in two parts. First, the layout part, including the preview of the image. And in part two, we'll understand about how to insert it into a database. We'll start from here. This is our blank template or a Kinter window. We imported Kinter and then declared the geometry or the width and height of it. So we can write it here also. We and height so and then the title and this is my underscore w is the parent window so that is what line number two that will be using it so if so we'll de discuss more about the layout first and if you don't want to you understand the layout better and you want to see the programming part how you are inserting to database and all you can skip this part one and go to part two to understand the uh, how the data is going along with the binary object binary picture or that image whatever you want to upload that you will uh, discuss there so you can skip this part now let me just start with a higher size font why i am using is all the labels whatever i will be using that i am want to give it a uniform sorry uniform uh, look and feel so for that i am saying times sorry times this is a font family now let me give the font size as uh, 20 and i am giving bold so this is the what the my style will be we'll see how we link it up now title we have already given font now let's start with our top label l1 l1 is the top label what appears at the top tk is a library label label i am using now my parent window is my underscore w now text what text should go so i am saying student admission whatever you want you can write it here so this is what it is now this is the text slightly i will give a bigger size font because this is a one time using so i am not declaring the font family entire thing higher 24 i am using and i am giving a background so i'll say okay here it is i am i will give bg or background uh, let me give light green i can write like this and there is a list what supports the backgrounds and all you can give hex code also so that is that's all my top front now let me just place it over the grid so l1 dot grid now what i am going to give is row equal to it's the first one so row equal to zero and column what i am giving column also because this is also the first one so column equal to zero now here you may say I am giving a column span of 7. Why I am giving this column span equal to 7? Because below this, the other components when I place it, radio button will take 3 others. I want this to be stretched the entire width of the form or whatever the user input. So I am giving the, let it span 7 columns. So I am giving a column span. Then I am not flushing with the left edge. So pad x equal to 10, then pad y equal to 20. So it is from the top edge. Now, let me just okay here one more thing i am going to ex this should expand the whatever the space available in the uh, east and west direction or the from from left edge to the right edge so i am giving ew so east and west it should expand so that is why i am giving like this now my label is there okay if you want to see this let's just run this once and see how this comes up so here it is student admission because other components are not there so it's not stretching we'll add the label now for our inputs so first one is name so we'll say l2 
because it is the next label so l2 equal to tk dot label now my parent window is my underscore w now text i am writing is name so this is the name input but here i will use the font equal to font one so what i have used uh, declared at line number seven here that i am using it here so this is the label now let me place the l2 on a grid so grid so for this is actually the top one is row zero so next one below that so row one so column equal to now this is zero equal to zero so first one it is so slightly i have to give pad x equal to five now pad y equal to 30. so my label l2 is there now the entry box for the name i will collect it so i'll say e2 equal to tk dot entry now this entry my par parent window my underscore w now width slightly i'm giving the width of 20 now the background color for this to be prominently visible so i am giving yellow now after that slightly bigger font also i can give here so font equal to 18. now next line i am coming i'll place it on a grid now this entry e2 equal e2 dot grid now this grid same row row equal to one because it is the right of my label so column equal to one so then column span equal to three then pad x why i have given column span equal to three because pad x 15 okay it will not it will keep a gap from the label of that and column span is three i am giving this because in the next line i'll be using three radio buttons for the gender so this span should match with the combined radio buttons each column one one radio button we'll see that so accordingly now to the right of this entry so whatever the name is uh, enter i will write the class so for that i will write l3 equal to level 3 equal tk dot label so again again i'll say my parent window my underscore w text what text should go this is the class i want to enter it so class is the label here now font same font font one i am using because i want to main, maintain the similarity whatever the name i have written so now let me place it on the grid so grid now grid means again row equal to one the same row right of my entry so column uh, one column span three i have given so i'll maintain column equal to four column equal to four so column one two three three is occupied by the entry widget so column equal to four here i am printing and pad x i am giving equal to 15 and pad y equal to 10 so this is my level three now let's come to place a combo box so that you can select the classes for it so i'll say my classes because i have to pick up a list prepare a list first and whatever data i care or elements i keep it there those things will appear as choice for the user to select so i am giving class three now class say four or let me four now let me give up five now one more i'll so these are the choice five six you can extend it if you want no problem now what happens is now i'll use a combo box note that combo box is not a part of tk it's a part of ttk so for that i will first import it so let me just move up and here i will import that library from tk enter import ttk so now that I will use it here. So when I am capping for combo box, especially CB1, combo box one, though I am not using anything beyond a one only, I am giving CB1, TTK dot combo box. Now again, my, pa my uh, um, parent window is my underscore W. Now that is fine. Now uh, this is because this, sorry, it is a values we'll get values equal to now what is the values is my class my class is the list what i have declared just above here it is so now that will be as this combo boxes will get the all the values from there so now class one and slightly I, i'll reduce the i'll not keep the default width with this seven because all my classes you can see there are five or six characters are there so i am giving the width as seven here so now i'll place it on a grid so cb1.grid 
now greed means rho equal to same as uh, class it should be so rho equal to 1 now column column should be next to it so i'll give 5 now let me just give some pad x equal to 10 some gap from the left and pad y from the top also i am maintaining now let us see up to this what we have uh, components we have placed how it looks i am just running this hope there is no error yeah you can see here my name so this is the uh, name whatever i will enter class again the label both this name and class text is having the font equal to one so whatever i have declared here at line number eight that is uh, style it has taken and here in the combo box you can see three four five six whatever i have given the list i have created those options are available we'll move a bit up and okay to the right of our combo box we'll leave one message area or we'll put a label to display the message what comes out from the database and whatever you want to say so tk dot label this is again my pa parent window my underscore w now text i am initially some default text i am writing message here subsequently this text will replace with the whatever message you want to give suppose the once the data is inserted the id of the student uh, will we'll display it there that can be the roll number admission number whatever it is so bg so to distinguish we are given background as yellow slightly bigger font will give font size only i am declaring here 16 16 size it will take now that let us place this on our grid so grid row this is on the same row so row equal to one column is right of it so uh, we have used here you can see column 5 so next is right of it is column 6 column equal to 6 now once we have our uh, column 6 let's just give a okay there is no pad y, x or y let it be because there is no more component right of it so let's not give that now next line next line is l4 will come uh, l4 this is a label will say for gender will pick up so label 4 equal to tk dot label so now this uh, l4 now my parent window my underscore w that is what now the text will write it as uh, gender now font font equal to font one font one is what you have declared at the top so all the inputs will have a uniform font style so that's why we are declaring it that so l4 let's place it on a grid now this time row is next row so row 2 previously it is row 1 now row 2 column equal to 0 because again it is uh, l4 column 0 slightly pad x equal to 5 and pad y so equal to slightly more space we are giving from the top so pad y equal to 30 now let's place our radio buttons now radio buttons will have a com because this is a three set of radio buttons so one i select other one will deselect so i have to use a common variable for that and so i have to declare a variable first let's just uh, and that variable will be common in also r1 underscore v radio button one variable equal to tk dot string var sorry string var now here what is the initial or default value i am just giving it as uh, let's say give it as female so once this matches with the radio button value then that radio button by default will be selected so now let's radio we have declared the variable now that i will connect it now so we'll say r1 or radio button 1 equal to tk dot radio button my underscore w that is my uh, parent window text equal to what should be the text written by the side of it so a um, mail okay now here the important part is variable variable i am giving r1 underscore v so that's the variable so nothing uh, and once this is selected then what should go to the as value that variable will hold this value so i'll say mail and this is what will go to the database so once this particular one is suppose selected then this will go now let me just place it on our grid l1 dot grid equal to row equal to again two so this is the row two because uh, below the one so row two and column equal to one column zero is the labels of gender what you are specified so column equal to one 
and now this is the radio button similarly two more radio buttons will come i'll just copy this one place it here one and one more here now this i will make it r2 now this is uh, male female now the variable value also i will once this radio button is selected what should go what the variable will hold the value that's what i am doing now this the here i will say r2 it is in the same row but column is to the right of it so i had to give two now similarly radio button 3 the third radio button now here i am giving the gender value as others uh let me just see this yes others so now variable is same value and here i am sorry others fine now again here r3 radio button 3 and grid is row 2 column here is 3 now that is the reason why it at the top you can see the entry level we are given column span is 3 because it should take the exact width of the radio button three radio button so radio button 1 2 3 are con connected in the column 1 2 3 so at the top i have given column span equal to 3 so now the three radio buttons are there now let's just to the right of it one more input will take that is let me move up a bit it is more for we are focusing on the layout if you want to understand the program part of it the part 2 we had an entire source code is available for you to download so you can copy the entire source code tk dot label now here my parent window now the text what the label should be so it is mark because we had to student mark will enter so gives a font font equal to font 1 because equal label now let me place it on a grid dot grid row row equal to 2 the second row now column is right of it so column should be 4 now column equal to 4 i hope you can understand this column 4 so slightly pad x equal to 5 and pad y equal to 10 now this is my mark now i have to give a input for the mark so i am giving e5 the name equal to tk dot uh this is a again e5 will be a entry because the data will be entered my pa parent window my underscore w now this is text uh, okay note a because it's a entry so i will say slightly i will give the width i limit it because there is only the numbers will be entered so i am giving 5 so five characters can be entered but actually five is not required i am thinking that marks maximum will be 100 okay let's be b then background is uh, yellow background equal to yellow now that's the font slightly bigger font will give font equal to 18 now let's place this also on our grid so this will go to same row e5 dot grid row equal to 2 column equal to 5 column equal to 5 now pad x equal to we'll say 15 now this is up to the layout now data now one more two more buttons are required but let's see how this looks if there is no error i hope there is no error tick enter no attribute okay label b e l l a b b e l here so let's see uh, below the error message is there at the bottom of the screen i am seeing that okay fine you can see now this is the gender this is a three radio buttons radio buttons are mutually exclusive because i have used a common variable for that that's why these are one i am selecting means others are getting deselected so this width is less so i can enter some number here and the combo box already we have seen this is i can select a option we'll add the buttons now two buttons one for the upload and preview and the second one will be for our adding the data so for that two buttons let's again slightly move up so here we are and uh, we'll give b1 b1 equal to our tk dot button now my parent window my underscore w now here text equal to now b1 will say upload 
because that is what the picture or photo upload whatever you want to say it here now what should be the command should do command equal to lambda now this again will trigger a function my upload lambda this equal to my upload this we have not yet written we are going to write that now shortly so let us place it on a uh, grid b1 dot grid now for this I will say that grid it is below that so it is row equal to 3 and column equal to 2 so this is all button 1 now let me just copy this instead of again typing another button will place so this button is for adding the data to our uh, the database so for here let me just come here I will give it name as b2 now this is will say add data so here the text will say add data fine that is uh, data but command again my add because this is a different function inside this function will keep our code to insert the data to our database now this will be right of it so slightly here will give slightly pad x equal to 5 so some gap is there now this should be right of it so column 3 okay here I have to change it to b2 also here let me just give it as b2 so two buttons are placed now two functions I have to create now now say define my upload this is the one which will will browse through the our uh, local directory system and upload the file I am giving pass now I will not return anything diff my add this is another function which will add our data to our database so these two buttons are connected these two let's just see the layout how these buttons are placed let me run this yeah here you can see the upload and add data two buttons I can click that now nothing will happen because we are not written anything we'll declare two global variables because those are we are going to use it let's move up again so those are we are going to use inside different functions so file name and image these two will be using now let's import some libraries because we'll be handling the files here so for that let's come here from tkinter import file dialog now next is from tkinter dot file dialog import ask open file so this will be using it and because we are ha we have to upload a image so one image library or python image library or pill so while installing you have to use pillow not pill so I'm um, let me just from pil python image library import image image and image tk so the, this particular library is not there then you have to uh, pip install pillow not pip install pil so note that though the name is pil here so you this libraries are required so if you are not there just install it pip install come back let's come back inside this first let's work on our upload part so here this particular function whenever i am calling clicking the button here b1 button then this function will be activated that this function will be called so let me access the my global file name and image both i am sorry 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 not no okay so that is it is changing now let me come back here okay so here this uh, both are now f type what are the file types i want when the file browser opens up what are the file types i am uh, trying to read because those extensions only will be available so let me give all files once because though we will not be using we will be targeting our uh, image files only so here i will say star dot star star dot star fine now next this is a list i am creating inside that let me just say we'll go for jpg this is this particular one will be showing as label this text part now the what file is is, is star dot jpg so this part jpg files will be shown and one more will go is 
PNG files. So we will say this is the label part what will ap appear we will see how the drop down appears. Now here we will say star dot PNG. Now that is all so this is what are the file types. Now these file types will be using this is just a list I have created. Now I will declare file name whatever I have created now is file dialog file dialog dot ask open file name. So why I am telling file name if I will ask open then it will create the file object directly I am creating the ask open file name so it will hold the path of it. Now what I am saying is file type equal to now once I say file types I have just above I have declared the what are the types this variable so that I will connect it here. So directly also I can write it instead of that here I am writing. So this will this particular one once you click that this will point this line will call the file dialog and it will a uh, user can browse the local system and point to the this particular files while pointing we will have the choice of jpg png or all files you can change it as you required now i am going image this is the variable i have declared image tk now dot photo image photo image now here i will say file which file equal to file name. Now file name is what the path I am getting at just at the above line. So now I have created the uh, particularly the image object using the our image tk. Now what I will do it is a preview. So where I can show a preview in a, on a button or on a label also. Let us use a button here but note that you can use a label also. P, B3 a new button I am creating tk dot button. Now again I am saying my underscore w this is a dynamical inside the function I am creating image equal to img. So this is again the same image what I am used now b3. Now let me just place the b3 in the grid. So where I will place because already row 3 of 2 I have used so row row equal to 4 and column equal to let us say 1. And here I will give a little because let it the width be more. So column span equal 3 and slightly from the top edge I am giving a gap of 20. So pad y equal to 20. That is all hope if there is no error we should able to upload a image and preview. This is going to be too long now. Let us run this. Uh, so far no error. Okay fine. Now data there is no point. I can enter anything here. Select the from the combo box anything. So select one because so far nothing will happen if I press the add data button. Now once I click the upload button it points to see that is dialog box and here you see what are the text here jpg png whatever we have mentioned those things because I have this png file so let me select png so there won't change if you tell jpg then jpg will get. Now let me just one these are all sample images so now the preview has come so this button now in the, what we are doing once this preview and this, all this data is there now I can click the add data and that part that will go to the my SQL or SQLite or any other database. Now that part that we will see in the next part because it is already too long this is so next part we will see how we will take this data inside a database and now nothing will happen even if I click this button also. So we will stop here. I request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you will be notified as and when you add the new new tutorials and we frequently do that. And the second part is coming where you will be adding this data to, a, to our MySQL database also. Please share this with your, with your friends and thank you for watching.